A story you will only see on WCNC. A 76 year old man rushed to the hospital after being shot multiple times with a BB gun. You can see a pellet still lodged in his neck. Well, tonight he is sharing his terrifying experience. Thanks for staying with NBC Charlotte. I'm Brooke Katz and I'm Fred Shropshire. The attack happened Monday morning at the man was walking in his neighborhood and tonight we've learned of two more BB gun attacks. Just yesterday, two people were shot on Marlowe Avenue. Another man hit on Wilkinson Boulevard. NBC see Charlotte's Alex Shabad talk to the 76 year old victim. He is at CMPD headquarters tonight with the details of this shocking story. Alex. Well, that 76 year old man showed me where the BB entered his neck and he says it remains there tonight because doctors told him it might be too risky to remove. It's right there. I can feel it. It's more than just a small bump under the skin. There's a six millimeter spherical object lodge in my throat and not just any object. I heard a pop pop 76 year old Joseph Morrison says he was shot on his Monday morning walk. There was a thud on my back and later on I discovered that I had had been shot by a BB gun. He says his wife took him to urgent care. Then he was sent to another facility for x-rays. Called and said go to the emergency room right away. We discovered there's something in your neck. After nearly eight hours in the ER, he says doctors gave him the news. It would do more harm than good if they tried to take it out. It's it's possible that it may come out of its own free will. And just two days later, more BB gun violence on Marlowe Avenue. Two people shot and another man hit by a BB gun on Wilkinson. Police believe those two cases might be related. No respect for the lives. And so far, no arrests have been made. Joseph Morrison says he will continue walking, but next time he's taking a different route. A BB gun can do great damage to anybody. I'm walking proof of that, and I'm fortunate that it was not worse than it is. And the victim tells me he now plans to meet with a specialist to do some more tests and see if that BB can actually be removed. At CMPD headquarters, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.